Way back in 1999, the Indian Navy had come out with a 30-year submarine building program. According to the plan fixed in 1999, India was to induct 24 conventional submarines by 2030. However, as of December 2024, only five have been inducted, while the sixth Scorpion submarine is slated for commissioning soon under Project 75. The plan for building the next six conventional submarines with air independent propulsion system, that is the AIP, under Project 75 India is yet to be contracted for and will take time. The experience from the P-75 India program was to be used in Project 76, under which 12 indigenous submarines were to be built. But now the Navy Chief Admiral Dinesh Kumar Tripathi has given full details of what has been planned, including nuclear submarines. The Indian Navy plans to commission its first fully indigenously designed nuclear attack submarine, that is SSNs, by 2036-37 and the second one in about two years from then. Briefing the media ahead of the Navy Day in the national capital, he said that the Cabinet Committee on Security, that is the CCS, has given approval to the first two SSNs. This is the first time when a government official has spoken on the subject in public. Under the Modi government, the late Defence Minister Manohar Parikar had decided to convert six of the 12 conventional submarines under Project 76 into nuclear attack submarines that will remain with the Indian Navy and will be part of the naval budget. While India has a separate program for nuclear ballistic missile submarines, that is SSBNs, their funding is through a separate system and they operate under the Strategic Forces Command, that is the SFC. Giving details of the six SSNs, Admiral Tripathi said that the CCS had given approval for just two at this moment. And I quote, as per our time, as per our in-house capabilities, we feel that 2036-37 is a very realistic time frame for the first to be inducted and maybe a couple of years for the second one, he said. He underlined that submarine design would be done indigenously and the government approval was a vote of confidence for the Navy and the domestic industry. Talking about INS Arigat, the second SSBN inducted in August, the Navy chief said it is undergoing trials right now. There are two more SSBNs being made and will be larger than the Arihant and Arigat. While both are about 6,000 tons, the new ones will be 7,000 tons and will have a different reactor besides capability to fire more K-4 missiles. Yes, the K-4 missiles that have a range of about 3,500 kilometers. Incidentally, the Navy chief also spoke about the last week test of the K-4 missile. Remember, it was in the forenoon of last Wednesday that INS Arigat fired the K-4 missile for the first time. While the missile has undergone tests in the past, this was the first time that it was fired from a submarine. Now, the Navy chief interestingly mentioned that the launch was successful and now the concerned agencies were studying the trajectory that the missile has taken and post that only he would be able to give more details. He was responding to a question on whether the missile test was successful. Now the Navy chief also spoke about the Scorpion submarine and the Rafale marine deal. Regarding the submarine program, Admiral Tripathi said that the deal for three additional Scorpion submarines is to be signed next month. Incidentally, the reason why additional Scorpion submarines have been signed was because the P-75 India program has been delayed. He also said that the deal for 26 Rafale marine fighters will also be inked next month. The Navy Chief Admiral Tripathi said that 62 ships and a submarine are currently under construction within the country as part of efforts to boost his naval power. A large number of platforms are waiting for induction in the next one year and at least one ship will be inducted into the Navy every month. For the print, this is Snehish Alex Philip. Please subscribe to the Prince YouTube channel for more such videos.